Hi, my name is Enoch Hernandez and I'm an application engineer at Hawkward Systems. Today we're going to be going over the whole wizard. Now, when it comes to the whole wizard, many people think that you just have to go ahead and sketch and throw a hole and have to use an extruder cut that way. The whole wizard is there to make our lives a lot easier. In my example, I need to put down a counter bore on this plate. Actually, I need to put three down. But the only issue is that if I want to do that without the whole wizard, I'm going to have to manually make holes in there and adjust everything to get it just right. SOLIDWORKS already has that for me. All I have to do to add holes now, such as the counter board, is just click on the Features tab and I'll have access to the whole wizard. Now you don't have to be in the sketch to do it. You can just click it outside being in the part environment. So if I click on the whole wizard, I'm going to get these two tabs inside the Property Manager. I have the Type tab and the Positions tab. The Type tab is going to allow me to select what kind of industry standard hole that I want and all its appropriate settings and the Position tab is going to allow me to put where that hole is going to be. So let's go ahead and start off with getting the type. So I have different options to different hole types that I have. I have nine hole types available to me such as a counter bore, if I want to add a counter sink, a regular hole just to name some. I also have the slot available to me. Depending on what hole type that I choose, and I currently have the counter bore selected, the standard, the type, the size, and the fit will all adjust accordingly to that hole. So say if I click on the hole here, it's going to change the standards that I have available to, to me might be different to what I'd have for the counter bore. So I put an anti-metric here, it'll show me the type of hole that I'm going to select here from the drill sizes, the screw clearances, just to name a few. Now let's see what happens if I go back now to the counter bore. Again, it'll adjust accordingly. The standard that I will be using is an ANSI metric. And again, I have all of these other available to me so I can use an AS, BSI, DIN, just to name a few. I also can change the type. So here's the hex bolt that I will be using. This is the configuration, an ANSI B18.2.3.5M. And again, I have all these other options available to me. So I'll select this. The size that I'll be dealing with will be an M8. And the fit, all that just means is how it is that that hole is going to be. So if I click here, it'll show me that I can use a close fit or a loose fit. Close would be a really tight fit. So where you would put your hex bolt inside, it'd be really tight when it's going in there. Normal would be halfway of being loose and close. And loose would allow you to have some play as you're putting it in there. So I'm going to put normal for now. And as I continue going down, I have my end condition available. And what this is, is just going to allow me how deep I'm going to go inside the part so I can select a blind up to a certain depth. I can use a through all, meaning it's going to go through the entire part. And I can use other solid work features that I've used before, such as up to next, up to vertex, up to surface, or an offset from surface. I'm just going to use through all. So now that I've put all the settings that I want, the next step is just to click on the positions tab. To activate where it is that I'm going to put these holes, I can just click on the face and now the cursor becomes active as a pencil and I get a preview of that counter bore. So I'm just going to go and drop the counter bore here, drop another one over here. And you notice that all the blue inference lines and if I hover also my cursor over an edge, SOLIDWORKS is going to tell me where I'm in space. So here I know where the midpoint's at, the highlighted orange there is the line. So again, it's very similar to what you would see inside a sketch. So I'm going to drop this one here. I'm going to drop one right below here in the middle. Now, although I position these, they're not exactly where I want them to be. So while I'm inside the positions tab, I can click on the smart dimension to put them exactly where they're supposed to be. So here I can put this 0.5 away. I can do the same on this side. And I can also add a dimension right here from here to here. Make sure it'll keep it at three. And I also want to share the same dimension here. Perfect. So now I can just click OK on the dimension and my holes have been placed exactly where they're supposed to be. Now if I rotate the part, we're going to see a preview of it actually going inside there. See that? It's showing me how the counter board is going to look. So there's all of that. I didn't do any of that. SOLIDWORKS went ahead and did that for me. So again, we see how fast and easy it is to use the whole wizard and be able to put a part, our hole down. So I'm going to click OK. And there it is. I didn't have to do any extra work. I just put my desired settings 
and there it is the three candle boards that are going along this plate in today's video we covered how to use the whole wizard and where it is found it's found here inside the features tab and you can select it from the command manager once there we can go ahead and use it to put all our desired settings and these are all standard industry holds such as a counter bore, a counter sink and everything will adjust accordingly to that type of hole that's suggested. Go ahead and give us a like and subscribe and if you have any questions or any additional information regarding the whole wizard go ahead and put a comment down. Thanks again.